Hi guys. <laughs> well, it is still December 24, 2018, but in six minutes it will be Christmas. So I really hope that whether you celebrate Christmas or not, that you just have a really peaceful, nice day tomorrow. So, Bipartisan Commission wants Pentagon budget increased to nearly one trillion by 2024. I can't believe that that Americans continue to pay taxes to this government and the extraordinary amount of money that goes to the Pentagon and the Pentagon well it just continues to miss so oh, another couple of trillion Oh, wait, now we're uh, two years later. Oh, more trillions, uh, 21 trillion. They failed their first budget audit. And, well, doesn't matter. We're still asking for more money. Today, their discretionary spending is $700 billion. $700 billion. And they want more, so by about 2024, it will be $1 trillion. Americans, you don't want these wars, right? So why do you pay? Why do you pay your taxes for these wars? So, yeah, the Defense Department is unable or unwilling to account for where a staggering amount of money went and yet they are looking to hit you up for more money. This is no joke and you know Trump, oh he loves to, he loves our military, he loves our troops and, and well he's going to, he's going to be right there asking for more money. Does this not make you sick? It really should. The report raises the specter of a looming national security emergency that justifies the massive military spending increases. Maybe it's related to, uh, oh, I don't know, war with China, or Russia, Iran, North Korea, whatever, it doesn't matter lie to the American people and they will fork it over. We'll get the money from them because they never ever ever put up any kind of fight. The Commission calls for expansions of most military forces warning that the United States is at risk of being overwhelmed should its military be forced to fight on two or more fronts simultaneously. Uh, just want to say that the neocons, well, that was the strategy to have uh, multiple wars simultaneously. <clears throat> they call it theater. Um, yeah. So that's why we've been fighting all over the place. You know, uh, Iraq, Afghanistan, and uh, then we go into Libya and Syria and just all over the place. So how how is it that this does the do the American people not know that we're kind of fighting multiple wars simultaneously and we have been for a really long time. All right. Well, uh yeah. I will get into the contractors, the security, the private contractors that the Pentagon has a budget of $245 billion. $245 billion goes to private contractors. We're not getting out of Afghanistan. We're not getting out of Syria. It's being privatized. And I don't know when I'm going to be doing that video.
maybe tomorrow. I've been doing research on these uh, private security contractors, and boy, there are a lot of them, a whole lot of them. And they go into countries and they train uh, their forces, and they provide all kinds of services. You know that I'm pulling our troops back home, Obama. Our troops are coming home from Iraq. We did leave U.S. military troops there. You know how many... Well, they're, they're mercenaries. The Pentagon has a budget of $245 billion to hire mercenaries to fight our wars. So there's approximately 4,500 contractors in Iraq. The number between, I believe, Syria and Iraq, 47,000. You really think Trump is ending the wars because, well, we were victorious over ISIS. Wow, no. We're privatizing. You know, we've been uh, using security contractors, private contractors, since 2001, since after 9 11, the increase has been phenomenal of the amount of contractors. And now there's more contractors dying than soldiers. Anyway, that's for another video. But what do we, I can't believe that we continue to pay. Everybody needs to stop paying taxes. You need to just stop paying taxes. If all Americans would just stop paying taxes, uh, that could sure put a halt on an awful lot of the evil that we commit all over, all over. So what did the commission uh, suggest? It suggested that uh, your taxes be raised. Yeah. So the commission explicitly proposes to pay for increased Pentagon appropriations by raising taxes while cutting domestic social safety net programs like Social Security and Medicare. Now, none of those wars are to protect our freedom. No, we ain't fighting them over there, so we don't have to fight them over here. When you learn about Trump and his uh, meetings with Eric Prince, oh, and you learn that Eric uh, or Blackwater, I got to put you on hold for this and bring it up. Hold on. So this is an article, Trump has privatized war. Um, the day that Donald Trump declares that we're pulling U.S. troops out of Syria and Afghanistan, 7,000 out of Afghanistan, we have already a lot of mercenaries that the Pentagon is paying to fight our wars. Uh, they will only increase the numbers of mercenaries. So, no, it's like, okay, yay, we didn't want those wars. Great, U.S. troops coming home. The wars continue. The looting of these countries, their resources continue. Eric Prince had meetings with Trump. They talked about mining the natural resources in Afghanistan for lithium, gold, um, copper, iron. Eric Prince has been over to Afghanistan, meeting with the president, meeting with the Ministry of uh, Mining. Uh, that's why we go into countries. We don't go into these countries to protect our freedom, especially when our freedom 
is, well, we can still drive to the supermarket, go to work, uh, but our freedom has greatly lessened here in the United States. So if we were going over there to protect our freedom, why don't we have the same freedoms that we had? Why do we have less freedom here? Oh boy, trying to get through to Americans. Uh, yeah, so that same day he makes these announcements, troops are coming home, victorious over ISIS. Blackwater, Blackwater takes out an ad in a, mag a gun and hunting magazine, Recoil. The only thing it says, it's kind of eerie, uh, Blackwater, the only thing it says, we are coming. Wow. Does this mean war has just been privatized? Okay, well, so um, who pays for those mercenaries. Who pays for Blackwater and uh, Dincorp and all of the private security contractors? The Pentagon. Oh, $245 billion budget for those mercenaries to fight the wars that soldiers used to fight. That $245 billion comes from you they will be hiring more contractors, so your taxes will be raised. These wars that you think that you're no longer funding because Trump is pulling those troops home and we've been victorious in Syria, you are still funding them, but funding them, wow, the increase. How much does it cost? one contractor. I think they make 500 to 1000 dollars a year. They make six figure salaries, 150 to 200 thousand a year. One contractor that you pay to fight the war that a soldier fighting gets 20 thousand. Oh Americans well, we may see our social safety net programs decrease, the military budget increase, uh, and the wars continue, uh, and the lies continue, and nothing gets better, everything gets worse. Even if the Department of Defense had passed its audit and could properly account for its current budget, it's increasingly absurd to suggest that runaway Pentagon spending to perpetuate endless wars and profiteering by weapons uh, contractors is actually boosting national security. If the Pentagon doesn't know where $700 billion is going, why should taxpayers trust them to do any better with $1 trillion? And I just want to read you, uh, you know, just one little paragraph here. Most organizations must undertake an audit and pass it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, chances are your local food bank passing out Thanksgiving staples this week passes. Well, this was a while ago, this article. Um, yeah. You know, they have to pass audits companies and NGOs, nonprofits. Yeah, you got an audit from the IRS. Well, <laughs> you better account for every penny. Now, if you can't account for every penny, that IRS audit, ooh, you get hit with fines. You get punished. If companies can't pass audits, they fold. The Pentagon, they can fail. Who cares? We're going to increase your taxes so that they get more funding. 
they had over 2,000 irregularities, 1.2 billion in uh, improper payments. That's low. I'm sorry. But yeah, so uh, how is it that people who, well, lie to Congress under oath? They always keep their jobs, you know? It, it's like the people who commit crimes, you know, that bank fraud, ah, we're going to let that go. We're just going to allow them to continue their jobs. Uh, they get bigger bonuses every year. We prop people up who are the lowest of the low. You wouldn't knowingly support any organization that failed its only audit. But if you pay taxes, you support the Pentagon. You support their failure. We really need to smarten up here, but uh, that is not likely at all. So the report commission actually threatened that if Congress didn't pony up money, it would require require the United States to alter the expectation of U.S. defense strategy and our global strategic objectives. Well, that would be good. Why don't we stop raping countries, stop paying taxes? Why don't we change things? Just a thought.